Hey, what's up everybody? This is Josh here with Basement Level Magic, and we are coming at you with another uh, deck tech and a series of our No J Standard lists. Um, this one is a red-green landfall deck that actually took fourth place at Grand Prix Indianapolis over the Halloween weekend. Um, I know there's a lot of different decks out there like this one. This one I feel like has a little bit of different stuff, plus it, it recently put up some, some really good results, so we're going to go ahead and look at it. So the mana base is uh, pretty simple. He's got four fetch lands, he's got four bloodstained mires, four wooded foothills, and four windswept heaths, along with uh, five mountains, four forests, one evolving wilds, and two cinder glades. So with that, he's got a lot of the landfall creatures that take advantage of of all these uh, all these lands. You don't see a lot of hyper aggro decks like this one that that play 24 lands, but this one's really trying to take advantage of the landfall triggers. You do have four Scythe Leopards, which is the one one that gets a plus one plus one with each land that enters battlefield. One Zergo Bell Striker, four Titan Strengths, and four Monastery Swift Spears. That's pretty much a must include in any of these red aggro decks that are being played right now. Um, then you've got four of Atarka's Command, uh, three Snapping Gnarlids, four Den Protectors. This is one that I hadn't seen a ton of play in uh, in these landfall decks. But what, what's great about it is you can play this out and attack in with a Titan Strength in your upkeep. And then most most creatures in this format right now uh, aren't able to block it at that point. So then you're able to apply the Team or Battle Rage where then Protector can't be blocked and you're attacking in for 10, 10 damage easily. Um, so we do have four Team or Battle Rages which has become the, the big thing with these red-green decks over the, the last couple of over the last couple of weeks since we switched over to the Battle for Zendikar metagame. He also played four Abbot of Carol Keeps and then four Become Immense. Um, four seems like a lot to me, but um, you know we definitely have easy ways to fill our graveyard, so we'll see how that plays out. In the sideboard, he's got three Rending Volleys. I'm sure those are for Jace. Uh, two Wild Slash, two Roast, and then a one of Yasova Dragon Cloud, which is actually pretty pretty neat to see. That card uh, is very powerful, but it hasn't seen much play at all. Uh, three Arc Lightnings, and then uh, three Outpost Siege, I suppose, if you're looking for the game to go long, and then one Sarkon Dragon Speaker. I'm not quite sure where he's bringing the Sarkon in. Um, probably in control matchups that you think are going to go quite long that you're bringing in the Outpost Siege as well. But it looks like a pretty sweet deck. You know, like I said, it did take top... Or it was fourth place at uh, GP Indianapolis over the Halloween weekend and so we'll see how it goes should be fun thanks for watching guys this is Josh with basement level magic